G'day, Alistair here, and in this video I want to demonstrate how awesome Power Rename is, which is part of Power Toys, and I'll show you how to get that at the end. But first, I want to rename these files. So I'm going to right click and go Power Rename. What we want to do is I want these file names to be Babylon 5, S01 for Season 1, uh, E01234 and so on, up to 22. So effectively, I'm going to replace this season one. Say so I'll go disk one, but we can see that by saying disk one, it's only uh, highlighting the first four now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on regular expressions, and this becomes backslash d. So season one disk and a number, uh, and then we get a hyphen, and then we've got another number. And that works all the way down to here, where we've got a seven. Now, if I add another ex extra backslash d, we're only it's only working for the last one. So what I can do is say plus to say at least one occurrence, or star to say one or more. And I prefer plus just for the extra security. It's a bit more specific. And we want to rename with this zero one e zero well. E and then a two digit number. And uh, that's obviously not going to work because uh, we want to rename more of them. So we need a little expression in here. And this dollar sign and brackets gives us our numbering from 0 to 22, uh, 21 rather. But we want to actually start with 1. So that's easy enough to do by adding start equals 1. So now we've got episode 1 to 22. Our next problem is that I want the um, you know two two digits. So these these first nine start with a zero, which is also easy. And you can see I've done it previously here. Padding equals two. And if I made that you know six would have lots of padding, but you know two two is what I'm after. And um, so that's pretty much our expression sorted. Except if I wanted to do season two at the same time, uh, which I don't have here, I've that in a separate folder. So I could say season percent D, but I would also want this number one to become a number two. Now to make that happen, I have to put the, I have to create a capture group. And so I put the uh, brackets around the backslash D and then in here I can say dollar sign one and that's the first you know, first capture group so the first one so if you had it if I had another one like I put that one in brackets that would be dollar sign two for instance but that's not what we want and that is our files renamed uh, so that's quite a sophisticated uh, renaming scheme uh, by shifting bits of the uh, file name around and introducing you know, some numbering and stuff like that. And you can put dates and all sorts of stuff in there. You need to read the documentation. But I'll go apply and there we go. That's them all renamed. So I can close that and they're there in Explorer all renamed. Now if I made some horrible mistake um, I can press Control Z at this point because of the integration with Windows Explorer. So there I am back to where I started. Now to get Power Toys, if we go um, the Microsoft Store, uh, this is kind of the, the easiest to demonstrate, but there are lots of ways you can do it from the command line, you can uh, download it and install it, or you can install, install it from the Windows Store. And of course, I already have it installed. And there are lots of things in Power Toys, Power Rename just being one of them. So I hope this video is useful for you. I'm in the process of ripping all my DVDs and throwing them into Jellyfin. And I'll probably possibly be discussing that in future videos, but I thought I'd just do this one on Power Rename and just how much of a time saver it is. So I'm Alistair and thanks for watching.